Starting your own business can be an exciting and rewarding experience, but it also comes with many challenges. One of the most important steps in setting up your business is obtaining the necessary licenses and permits to operate legally. Without them, you risk fines, penalties, and even closure of your business. In this course, Registering Your Business and Obtaining Necessary Licenses and Permits, we will guide you through the process of registering your business and obtaining the necessary licenses and permits at the local, state, and federal levels. We will cover topics such as the different types of business structures, how to obtain an employer identification number, EIN, and the various types of licenses and permits you may need, including industry-specific permits and zoning requirements. We will also discuss ongoing compliance requirements and renewal deadlines to ensure that your business stays on track and operates smoothly. Whether you're starting a small home-based business or a large corporation, this course will provide you with the information you need to navigate the complex world of business licenses and permits. Number 1. Business Registration Before you can start operating your business, you need to register it with the appropriate government agency. This could be a local, state, or federal agency, depending on the type of business you are starting. Starting a business can be an exciting and fulfilling journey, but it also requires a lot of hard work and preparation. One of the most important steps you need to take before you can start operating your business is registering it with the appropriate government agency. This may seem like a tedious and time-consuming task but it is essential if you want to establish your business as a legal entity and avoid potential legal and financial problems down the line. The process of registering your business will vary depending on the type of business you are starting and where you plan to operate it. For example, if you are starting a small home-based business, you may only need to register with your local city or county government. However, if you are starting a large corporation, you may need to register with multiple government agencies at the federal, state, and local levels. The registration process typically involves filling out forms, paying fees, and providing documentation that proves your business is legitimate and complies with all relevant laws and regulations. This may include providing a business plan, obtaining a tax identification number, and demonstrating that you have the necessary insurance and licenses. While the registration process can be time-consuming, it is an important step in establishing your business as a legitimate entity. Not only will it give you peace of mind knowing that you are operating your business within the bounds of the law, but it will also help you secure financing, protect your personal assets, and establish credibility with customers and partners. In conclusion, registering your business with the appropriate government agency is a crucial step in starting a business. It may require some effort and resources, but it is a necessary investment in the long-term success and viability of your business. By following the necessary steps and requirements, you can establish your business as a legitimate and respected entity within your industry and community. Number 2. Business Structure Choosing the right legal structure for your business is important. There are different types of structures, such as sole proprietorship, partnership, LLC, and corporation, each with its own advantages and disadvantages. When starting a business, one of the most important decisions you will make is choosing the right legal structure. Your business structure will affect everything from how you pay taxes to how you manage your operations and share profits with partners. With so many options to choose from, it can be overwhelming to decide which one is right for you. The most common types of business structures include sole proprietorship, partnership, LLC, and corporation. Each has its own advantages and disadvantages, and the best structure for your business will depend on factors such as your industry, size, and long-term goals. Sole proprietorship is the simplest and most common type of business structure. It is owned and operated by a single person and has no separate legal entity from the owner. While it is easy to set up and manage, the owner is personally liable for all debts and legal issues. Partnerships involve two or more people who share ownership and responsibility for the business. There are different types of partnerships, such as general partnerships, limited partnerships, and limited liability partnerships. Partnerships are also relatively easy to set up, but they also come with risks such as shared liability for debts and legal issues. 
LLCs, or limited liability companies, are becoming increasingly popular due to their flexibility and protection from personal liability. An LLC is a separate legal entity from its owners, which means that the owners are not personally liable for the business's debts and legal issues. Corporations are also separate legal entities from their owners, but they require more formal structure and management than LLCs. Corporations can issue stocks, which allows them to raise capital more easily, but they also face more regulations and taxes. In conclusion, choosing the right legal structure for your business is crucial to its long-term success. It's important to carefully consider the advantages and disadvantages of each structure and consult with a legal or financial professional if necessary. By selecting the best structure for your business, you can protect your personal assets, manage your operations effectively, and position your business for growth and profitability. Number 3, Employer Identification Number, EIN. An EIN is a unique identifier assigned by the IRS to your business. You will need an EIN to open a bank account, hire employees, and file taxes. As a business owner, you have a lot of things to keep track of, and one of the most important is obtaining an employer identification number, or EIN. An EIN is a unique identifier assigned by the Internal Revenue Service, IRS, to your business, and it is required for a number of important tasks. First and foremost, you will need an EIN to open a business bank account. Without an EIN, your bank may not be able to identify your business and may refuse to open an account for you. This can be a major hurdle for managing your finances and accepting payments from customers. In addition to opening a bank account, you will also need an EIN if you plan to hire employees. Your EIN will be used to report employee taxes and file necessary paperwork with the IRS. It is important to obtain your EIN before you start hiring employees so that you are prepared to handle their payroll and tax obligations. Finally, you will need an EIN to file your business taxes. Your EIN will be used to identify your business on tax forms and ensure that you are properly reporting your income and expenses to the IRS. Without an EIN, you may face penalties or fines for failing to properly report your taxes. Obtaining an EIN is a relatively straightforward process that can be completed online through the IRS website. Once you have your EIN, be sure to keep it in a safe place and use it whenever it is required for business transactions or tax filings. In conclusion, obtaining an EIN is an essential task for any business owner. It allows you to open a bank account, hire employees, and file taxes properly, all of which are crucial for the success and growth of your business. By taking the time to obtain your EIN and stay organized with your business finances, you can position yourself for long-term success and stability. Number 4. Business Licenses Depending on the type of business you are starting, you may need to obtain one or more licenses or permits from the local or state government. Examples include a general business license, sales tax permit, health permit, and liquor license. Starting a new business can be exciting, but it also comes with a lot of rules and regulations that must be followed. One important aspect of getting your business up and running is obtaining the necessary licenses and permits from the local or state government. The type of license or permit you need will depend on the nature of your business. For example, if you plan to sell physical products, you may need a general business license and a sales tax permit to collect and remit sales tax. If your business involves food service, you may need a health permit to ensure that you are following food safety regulations. In some cases, you may need specialized licenses or permits that are specific to your industry. For example, if you plan to serve alcohol, you will likely need a liquor license to do so legally. Similarly, if you are opening a daycare, you may need a specific license to comply with state regulations. Obtaining these licenses and permits can be a time-consuming process, but it is essential for staying compliant with local and state laws. Failure to obtain the necessary licenses and permits can result in fines, legal issues, and even closure of your business. To ensure that you are obtaining the correct licenses and permits, it is important to research the specific requirements for your business and industry. 
Your local or state government website should have information on the licenses and permits you need, as well as the application process and associated fees. In conclusion, obtaining the necessary licenses and permits for your business is an important part of getting started. It ensures that you are following the rules and regulations set forth by your local and state government, and can help you avoid fines and legal issues down the road. By doing your research and staying organized with the application process, you can set yourself up for long-term success and compliance. Number 5. Industry-Specific Licenses Certain industries may require additional licenses or permits. For example, a contractor may need a contractor's license, while a restaurant may need a food service permit. Starting a business in a specific industry can come with its own set of challenges, including the need for industry-specific licenses and permits. These licenses and permits are required in addition to the general business licenses and permits that may be required by your local or state government. For example, if you are starting a contracting business, you may need a contractor's license to operate legally. This license will typically require passing an exam and meeting certain experience and education requirements. Similarly, if you are starting a restaurant, you will likely need a food service permit to ensure that you are following health and safety regulations. Other examples of industry-specific licenses and permits may include Real estate licenses for real estate agents or brokers Medical licenses for doctors or nurses Professional licenses for lawyers or accountants Obtaining these licenses and permits can be a complex process, but it is important to ensure that you are operating your business legally and ethically. Failure to obtain the necessary licenses and permits can result in fines, legal issues, and even the closure of your business. To ensure that you are obtaining the correct licenses and permits for your industry, it is important to research the specific requirements and regulations. Your industry association or local government website may have information on the licenses and permits you need, as well as the application process and associated fees. In conclusion, industry-specific licenses and permits are an important part of starting and running a business in certain industries. They ensure that you are following the rules and regulations set forth by your industry and local or state government, and can help you avoid fines and legal issues down the road. By doing your research and staying organized with the application process, you can set yourself up for long-term success and compliance. Number 6. Zoning and Land Use Permits Depending on the location of your business, you may need to obtain permits related to zoning and land use. For example, if your business is located in a residential area, you may need a special permit to operate a commercial business. When starting a business, it's important to consider the location and how it fits into the surrounding community. Zoning and land use permits are essential in ensuring that your business complies with local laws and regulations related to land use. Zoning laws are put in place to ensure that land is used in a way that is consistent with the community's overall development goals. They dictate what types of activities are allowed in specific areas, such as residential, commercial, or industrial. If your business is located in an area that is zoned for residential use, you may need a special permit to operate a commercial business. Land use permits are also important in ensuring that your business is in compliance with local regulations. These permits may include site plan approval, building permits, and environmental permits. Site plan approval ensures that your business meets certain standards for parking, traffic flow, and access. Building permits ensure that your building is safe and structurally sound. Environmental permits ensure that your business is not harming the environment. Obtaining zoning and land use permits can be a complex process, as requirements may vary by location and business type. It is important to work closely with your local government and planning department to ensure that you are meeting all requirements and regulations. In conclusion, zoning and land use permits are essential in ensuring that your business is in compliance with local laws and regulations related to land use. They help to ensure that your business fits in with the surrounding community and does not cause harm to the environment. By working closely with local government and planning departments, 
you can navigate the permitting process and set your business up for long-term success. Number 7. Federal Permits If your business involves certain activities, such as importing or exporting goods, you may need to obtain federal permits from agencies like the FDA or USDA. When starting a business that involves certain activities like importing or exporting goods, it's important to consider federal regulations and permits that may be required. The FDA, USDA, and other federal agencies oversee a range of industries and activities, and obtaining the necessary federal permits is essential for staying in compliance with federal laws and regulations. For example, if you're starting a food business that involves importing or exporting food products, you may need to obtain a permit from the FDA. The FDA's Food Facility Registration Program requires all domestic and foreign facilities that manufacture, process, pack, or hold food for consumption in the U.S. to register with the FDA. The registration process involves providing detailed information about your business and your food products. Similarly, if your business involves importing or exporting plants, animals, or plant or animal products, you may need to obtain permits from the USDA. The USDA's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service, APHIS, regulates the import and export of these products to prevent the spread of pests and diseases. Obtaining federal permits can be a complex process, as requirements may vary by industry and activity. It is important to work closely with the appropriate federal agencies to ensure that you are meeting all requirements and regulations. In conclusion, if your business involves certain activities like importing or exporting goods, it's important to consider federal regulations and permits that may be required. By working closely with federal agencies like the FDA and USDA, you can navigate the permitting process and ensure that your business is in compliance with federal laws and regulations. Number 8. Compliance Requirements Once you have obtained the necessary licenses and permits, you must comply with all relevant regulations and requirements. Failure to comply could result in fines or other penalties. Obtaining the necessary licenses and permits for your business is just the first step. It's equally important to comply with all relevant regulations and requirements once you have them. Failure to comply could result in fines, legal action, or even the closure of your business. Compliance requirements can vary widely depending on your industry and location. For example, if you operate a restaurant, you may need to comply with health and safety regulations, food safety regulations, and labor laws. If you're a contractor, you may need to comply with building codes, safety regulations, and licensing requirements. It's essential to stay up to date on all regulations and requirements related to your business. This may involve regular training for employees, regular inspections of your business operations, and ongoing communication with regulatory agencies. In addition to complying with regulations and requirements related to your business operations, you may also need to comply with tax laws and regulations. This could include filing regular tax returns, paying sales taxes, and withholding payroll taxes from employee wages. Overall, Compliance is a critical aspect of operating a successful and sustainable business. By staying informed about all relevant regulations and requirements, and working closely with regulatory agencies, you can ensure that your business is operating legally and ethically, and avoid costly penalties and legal action. Number 9. Ongoing Reporting and Filings Many businesses are required to file periodic reports and filings with the government, such as tax returns and annual reports. Make sure you understand what is required of your business and stay up to date with all deadlines. Running a business is a complex and challenging endeavor, and ongoing reporting and filings are a critical part of it. Many businesses are required to file periodic reports and filings with the government, such as tax returns and annual reports. It's essential to understand what is required of your business and stay up to date with all deadlines to avoid costly penalties. Ongoing reporting and filings can vary depending on the size and type of your business. For example, corporations may need to file annual reports with the state they are incorporated in, while LLCs may be required to file annual reports and tax returns with the IRS. 
Other businesses may need to file quarterly or monthly tax returns, depending on their revenue and expenses. It's essential to keep track of all deadlines related to ongoing reporting and filings to avoid any late fees or penalties. Missing a deadline could also result in legal action or the suspension of your business operations. Many businesses choose to work with a tax professional or accountant to manage ongoing reporting and filings. These professionals can help ensure that all necessary documents are filed on time and that your business is in compliance with all applicable laws and regulations. Overall, ongoing reporting and filings are an essential part of running a successful and sustainable business. By understanding what is required of your business and staying up to date with all deadlines, you can avoid costly penalties and legal action and focus on growing your business. Number 10. Renewal Requirements Licenses and permits often have expiration dates and must be renewed periodically. Make sure you keep track of all renewal deadlines and submit your applications on time to avoid penalties or disruptions to your business. As a business owner, it's essential to be aware of the renewal requirements for licenses and permits related to your business. Many licenses and permits have expiration dates and must be renewed periodically. Failure to renew on time could result in penalties or disruptions to your business operations. Renewal requirements can vary depending on the type of license or permit. For example, a general business license may need to be renewed annually while a liquor license may need to be renewed every two years. It's important to keep track of all renewal deadlines and submit your applications on time. Renewal requirements are critical because they ensure that your business is in compliance with all relevant laws and regulations. Renewing your licenses and permits on time helps to avoid any legal issues or disruptions to your business operations. It also helps to maintain your reputation as a reliable and trustworthy business. To ensure that you don't miss any renewal deadlines, it's a good idea to keep a calendar or reminder system in place. This will help you to stay organized and on top of all renewal requirements related to your business. In conclusion, understanding the renewal requirements for licenses and permits related to your business is essential. By keeping track of all renewal deadlines and submitting your applications on time, you can avoid penalties and disruptions to your business operations.